everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new design tutorial and today i'll show you this type of minimal logo and uh, this one is the concept for the g and then i adopt the logo from the logic this is the thought provoking uh, logo like that so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first i'm going to the file and take a new canvas or artboard whatever you can tell and that is the 200 uh, 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel and giving the name minimal logo and hit the create button and after that i'll take a background and i'll do other works over there so taking a rectangle and drawing uh, uh, like a square shape which is the 2000 pixel by 2000 pixel before that if you check it out or till this link you can give the check button and then 2000 pixel by 2000 and the hit ok button turn off the stroke and give the color which is uh, like a black color and make sure that the alignment to artboard or align to artboard is on and then make it like that and after that lock this one and it can work over there or upper side of this one take a new blank layer and after that uh, i'll take uh, like square like this press the shift button and hold it and draw this one or you can press an option uh, button and shift button you will get the like symmetric uh, square shape and after that you have to change the color which is a uh, white color i will provide and then again the align to artboard is on and uh, middle this one and uh, vertical alignment and center and make sure that this one is stroke mode and stroke thickness 100 and just make this one uh, like uh, 600 or 500 600 is good before that you have to check this one and 600 500 is good for this and automatically it will press the enter button and then again go to the ellipse tool and draw ellipse like that select once and uh, here 500 if you write down 500 and hit okay okay and press v from the keyboard before uh, align to the center you have to make the copy another one by pressing alter or option button and taking this one beside taking these things and align to artboard is on and now vertical alignment and other alignment is good and select these two things check over here the align stroke is like that so that's good and after that select these things and press ctrl or command y you will get the outline mode i'll just select this circle and place over here so here make it zoom and make sure that the line is like properly joined with that select this the lower portion of the circle make it in the middle uh, like that that's good and going back to the normal mode selecting these two things and after that going to the object and expand the appearances or expand and fill it up and hit ok and select these two things make it press the shift m for the shape builders tool and like uh, here press the alter option button minus that things that things and that things i'm just making like uh, only this shape uh, because of that so here when you are using the shape builders tool uh, you have to use the uh, like a minus or plus key now select this stroke mode this one is stroke mode and now press a from the keyboard select this anchor point and delete that things okay after that uh, these things you have to make it a little bit upper side that's good and then object and expand that things and hit okay that's good our design is ready and now i'll make the color swatch so how to make the color swatch and how to apply that thing so i'm keeping this one in the right side or upper side for the practice or this one is the main things to make the logo so i'm taking um, the rectangle or square shape like this and which color is like a uh, green this type of green okay fine and then i'm uh, just copying this one by pressing option or alter button and uh, just keeping this one in a downside that's good i'm selecting that things and just giving the alignment like that and this portion as well that's good select these two things and go to the blend options just 
press once select once and select once over here and the upper side or lower side lower side it will be like a uh, low graded or the down color go to the cmyk mode and make it black full black and then you are getting the color swatch like that but i need only eight colors or four colors so double click over the blend mode and go to the specified um, steps and make it eight and make the preview mode on and hit ok and i can take color from here and if you need you can just make it uh, like uh, this one is the line uh, so you can make it uh, expand but uh, one thing is that if you make it expand you can't change it uh, anymore that means if you want to change this one like a little bit like that one thing you are changing it's changing overall so this assumption will be like a destroy or like uh, off now uh, we'll make the logo like logic so take a font which is uh, the nexa font and i'll provide you that font download link which is the free font n e x a nexa nexa bold and write down something over here make the size increase and make it like white color it will help us out to make these things visible and i'm writing down all small letters logic so that's good and making it a little bit bigger okay fine and now right press select this font and create outline and after that these things make it hit group by pressing ctrl or command g uh, just notice the shortcut keys which one just showing in our window so taking this one and making it smaller so i'm making the same size like that for the uh, like convenience i am making the color like that i'm making it in a upper side okay that's good and just placing this one according to the height and width and other steps like that's good i think this one is good okay if you need you can uh, adjust the things like uh, okay making it a little bit bigger taking it upper side just fit with that things which is nice and if you need you can make it in a okay that's good select these two things make it the align to selection align like that and now double press over here delete the white one and you are getting the logo like that logic and this one is grouped and i'm making place over here and placing in a middle so align to artboard is on like that and select the color press i from the keyboard and select color from here so you are getting your logo ready customize later but uh, you are getting a full logo like that so uh, this customized letter have uh, uh, has a meaning or it could be a uh, like a specific uh, like reason like g for the gig g for the like uh, genius or genuine whatever you can just uh, it's the specific logic to uh, do or use like this type of things so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am signing out today bye bye